Thank you very much, Sanjay Ji. Always a pleasure. Let me start by asking you about the big picture. Something very interesting that is taking place in these elections is, despite the BJP's um, defeat in Karnataka, the BJP has clearly decided that it will not invest in its established second-rung leadership, i.e. whether it comes to a Shivrat Singh Chauhan or a Vasundra Raje in Rajasthan, chief ministerial candidates or even the stature of making these leaders the face of the campaigns has not happened. How do you see the BGP approach to this campaign? Another experiment is their fielding of members of parliaments and union ministers in assembly elections. So the big picture first, Sanjay Ji, with the BGP's approach. Uh, see, my own sense is that BJP's approach has been correct if, we are, if I go by BJP's strategy. And why do I say that? Uh, we have been doing surveys in these, uh, in these states over a period of time. And we have figured out that there are times when leaders pull vote for their party, when the leader's popularity is very high. If I look at Shivraj Singh Chauhan's popularity, his pop he still remains popular. But there is a huge decline in his popularity compared to what it was in 2013. So even in 2018 election, if I go by my own data, uh, I do not get a sense from the data because his popularity was slightly lower compared to the vote polled by the party, which is an indication that the leader is not able to pull votes for the party. That applied to Raman Singh in Chhattisgarh. That was the case even to with Vasund Raja Siddhiya in Rajasthan. Because in all the three states, when they were the chief minister 10 years ago, they were extremely, extremely popular. But there, there was a decline in the popularity to the extent that their popularity was much lower compared to party's vote share. I think this is an indication that people are voting for the party because they like the party and these leaders are not able to pull votes for the party. So I think but party can I, went ahead. Can I, but can I interrupt you there? Because the NDTV CSDS uh, survey, uh, which you led, uh, you see the, the personal popularity of the CM candidates. Shivrat Singh Chauhan, according to your survey, sl still had a slight edge over Kamal Nath. Yet the BJP has decided not to officially or even de facto project him as the face. You say this is the correct approach. Given the findings of your survey, why do you argue that? Uh, yes, if you compare Kamal Nath with Shivrat Singh Chauhan, the data speaks for itself. Shivrat Singh Chauhan still remains more popular than Kamal Nath. But look at the vote estimate. If you, uh, the, the percentage of votes being polled by the BJP is much higher compared to Shivrat Singh Chauhan's popularity. And if I, if I go by the 2018 looks assembly election, even in that, BJP got 41% votes. And Shivrat Singh Chauhan's popularity was roughly 41%, a little slightly less than 41%. So there has been a decline. And remember, there was a time, 2013 assembly election, when Shivrat Singh's popularity was at 48%, and BJP was getting less vote than Shivrat Singh's popularity. So yes, Shivrat Singh Chauhan is still remains the most popular leader of BJP. No doubt about that. A lot of people still believe that he should be the chief minister. But there is also a sense of some kind of a fatigue. I won't say there is a disenchantment among uh, against Shivrat Singh Chauhan. I won't say because the data speaks of for itself. It's not that Shivrat Singh Chauhan has become unpopular. He still remains popular. But there's some kind of a fatigue which has come in, creeped in, and some sense among sections of voters that uh, we should try someone else. And I think getting that sense, BJP decided not to project him as the chief ministerial candidate in Madhya Pradesh. And in order to deflect voters' attention, they fielded these eight MPs. Some of them are sitting, uh, some of them are ministers in the cabinet, so that Voters don't know who is going to be the chief minister. So the attention is deflected. You don't know. You, you uh, So even Congress... Isn't it, a, know, isn't it a double-edged sword? Because while Shivrat Singh Chauhan's popularity has declined, A, it still remains, according to your own findings, better than that of Kamal Nath personally, way ahead of Jyotir Ditya Sindhya. B, it's probably still more than the anti-incumbency that his MLAs are facing. So I guess my question is, Given this fatigue, and what what else could the BJP have done that you think it has not done in the Madhya Pradesh campaign? No, if they had projected Shivrat Singh Chauhan as the chief ministerial candidate, I think some of the BJP supporters may not have. They, see, these are strategies. And right. you get to know only the strategy succeeded or the strategy failed 
after you know the results. But I think the strategy was even if the there are supporters of BJP, but they may not vote for BJP because they seem to be having some kind of a fatigue with one face, which is Shivrat Singh Chauhan. So in order to deflect that attention, BJP decided, let's not project any face. So there is a haziness. So if I am a BJP supporter, I will vote for BJP because I know there is an uncertainty. Anyone could be the chief minister. So if I had any hesitation, if I had any question in my mind, whether I should vote for BJP or not, if Shivrat Singh Chauhan is going to be the next chief minister, so that possibility was minimized by BJP. Again, whether the strategy is right or wrong, correct or, or is, whether it is going to succeed or whether it is going to fail, that I can't say at this moment. But going by the data, as I said earlier, in my opinion, it was a good move or a good strategy by BJP. Let's talk a little bit about the other two key players in Madhya Pradesh, Kamal Nath. Kamal Nath is, uh, is almost running a campaign where he is more important than the Congress party. He's also running a visibly Hindu campaign. Uh, and the argument that he has made is that I was a Hanuman, I've always been a Hanuman Bhakt. Uh, but, but obviously there is a political uh, strategy in Mr. Kamal Nath's um, approach here. How do you see Kamal Nath's campaign, Sanjiji? Uh, if you look at what is happening on the ground, in my opinion, there is a very tight contest between BJP and Congress. Some others estimate that maybe Congress is ahead. This is an indication that Kamal Nath's strategy is working on the ground. Whether he is trying to project himself as more Hindu than BJP or whether he is trying to give out, send out a message that Congress is also kind of a Hindu party. Whatever he is trying to do, whatever with whatever strategy he is trying to reach out to the voter, I think it is working on the ground. If it was not working on the ground, the sense which we are getting of what is happening in Madhya Pradesh is largely because Kamal Nath's strategy seems to be succeeding. And we know that Kamal Nath uh, himself has taken the lead in this campaign. The national leaders are in, on the ground, but not to the extent as we would see national leaders campaigning in other states. So isn't that interesting that in a way the BJP is relying on central leaders, whether it's the prime minister, whether it's union ministers, whether it's members of parliament, and the Congress is trying to localize, the Congress is trying to localize the election. No, absolutely. And I think why Congress is trying to localize the election, two factors. One, again, citing the same data, if I look at the popularity of Rahul Gandhi and the votes polled by Congress in the last Lok Sabha elections, 2019, 2014, and also in various state assembly elections. Rahul Gandhi is not a vote puller for the Congress. Congress has always got more votes compared to percentage of people who want to see Rahul Gandhi as the next prime minister. So this is an indication, and there are other indicators as well, which indicate that Rahul Gandhi is not a crowd puller for the party. He's not adding votes for the party. Also, look at what happened, how the party led the campaign in Himachal Pradesh and Karnataka. And the, these are the two states where Congress has won the election. They have a government in these states. I think Congress learned by these two experiments and they decided to go in these elections with a prominent regional face, prominent state leader, rather than going along with, a, with the national faces to campaign uh, aggressively. I'm not saying that national faces are not, national leaders are not campaigning. So I think the strategy of Congress is also working on the ground. And that is why Congress is in a serious fight, whether we are talking about Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, or even in Telangana. Yeah, I'll get to the states one by one, but uh, on Madhya Pradesh, I want to talk a little bit about Jyotiraditya Sindhya. Now, Mr. Sindhya, of course, delivered effectively the state after the elections in 2018 by breaking away from the Congress and joining the BJP. Priyanka Gandhi has now been targeting him for what she calls his Gaddari. What is at stake for Jyotiraditya Sindhya? Because in his own belt of Gwalior Chambal, Professor Sanjay Kumar, polls at least don't suggest a very strong performance. They suggest a certain amount of ideological confusion among the cadres 
on the ground. Now, I want to play out for you uh, just a small statement of Jyotir Aditya Sindhya, and then I want you to explain to us what's at stake for Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. Here's Mr. Sindhya saying today that he is not in the chief minister's race and he never was and will not be in the foreseeable future. Listen in. मैंने पहले से कहा है मैं सीएम के रेस में नहीं हूँ ना मैं कभी था ना आज हूँ आप लोगों ने बार बार मुझे पूछा है 2013 में भी 18 में भी और आज भी पूछ रहे हैं तीनों बार मैंने कहा है कि मैं सीएम के रेस में नहीं हूँ ये रेस कुर्सी का नहीं है ये रेस विकास का है ये रेस प्रगति का है और ये रेस जनता का विश्वास सुनिश्चित रखने का है कुर्सी का रेस कांग्रेस की सो ऑफ कोर्स मिस्टर सिंधिया सेइंग आई एम नॉट इन द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स रेस एंड ऑल योर सर्वेज एंड अदर सर्वेज आल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट दैट नोबडी इज लुकिंग एट हिम एज अ पोटेंशियल सीएम कैंडिडेट बट ही देयर इज अ प्रेस्टीज बैटल ऑन फॉर हिम इफ फॉर एग्जांपल द बीजेपी डज नॉट डू वेल इन चंबल ग्वालियर हिज ओन बेल्ट एंड यू नो दिग्विजय सिंह इज नाउ टॉन्टिंग द बीजेपी विद दिस लाइन कि देयर आर थ्री बीजेपीज इन मध्य प्रदेश द शिवराज बीजेपी द महाराज बीजेपी एंड द नाराज बीजेपी Uh, this is what Digvijay Singh is saying on the ground. How do you see the Sindhya factor uh, playing out, Professor Kumar? Uh, you have already mentioned that some of the polls are suggesting that BJP may not is not doing very well in the Chambal uh, Gwalior region, and if BJP does not perform well in this region, I think uh, there will be criticism of Shivra. Uh, uh, there will be criticism about Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. So I think there are stakes are high for him. Uh, even if bjp does well or not does well in, in the entire state but for jyoti raditya sindhya it is important that the party does well in the chambal uh, gwalior region because if party does well in this region at least he will have to show something to the party leader and i think the statement which he is going to he is giving to the uh, press i was not in the chief ministerial race and i am not in the chief ministerial race i think he is trying to send out a message to the top bosses of the party that and just trying to what we call suraksha kavach for himself ki yeah. if if the party doesn't do well in this region because i was not projected as the chief minister i was not in the chief ministerial race so that is why my core supporters also you know didn't vote for me in such a big way as they should have voted because they did not see a future in voting for bjp because they wanted me to play an active role i was not giving a role given a role i am not saying that he is saying that but maybe this is an argument which is building among within himself so that if there is any uh, discussion about that if congress does if bjp doesn't do well in this region maybe he's trying to send out a message well in advance uh, because there are indication that bjp may not do very well in this region where uh, which is the bastion of jyotiraditya sindhya